There are many different factors uh, for dogs developing osteoarthritis. Some of them we don't understand. Some of them are unknown etiologies. Some of the things that we do have control of would be body type and body condition scoring and keeping dogs uh, in good body condition to prevent an exacerbation of any orthopedic problems that may be pre-existing in their animal. If we have animals that are coming in already at six months of age with a predisposition for an osteoarthritis type of a problem, we have an opportunity to keep those animals in a good body condition and try to prevent some of the clinical signs that we'll see later in life with osteoarthritis. The best strategy is to have clients coming back in with their pets on a regular basis. And uh, there's many different ways we can do this. We talked about using digital photography. There's many computer programs that we can use now that are available from, from many different sources that we can actually have somebody come in and we can keep track of that dog on a regular basis and see what progress we're making or what progress we're not making. This way the, the client has ownership in the, and, and takes responsibility in the health and well-being of their dog. And I can't stress enough that this is probably more important than anything I'm going to do as a surgeon uh, in terms of the, the, the quality of life this animal is going to experience while they're dealing with an orthopedic issue. Many of the things that we could do in terms of prevention is if a dog is predisposed to some of the developmental orth orthopedic diseases such as osteochondrosis, osteochondritis, and hip dysplasia, we want to make sure that a dog is on a proper uh, diet regimen in order to develop normally, not grow too fast, not have some problems uh, later on in life that may be prevented from some of the environmental things that we do have control over, which diet is a big factor. It's much easier for an animal's weight and its, its body condition to be managed over the course of its life rather than trying to catch up once an animal already becomes obese. Obesity is a very difficult problem to get uh, a handle on and weight loss is much harder for a practice and for a pet owner to deal with. Orthopedic problems aside, there's many other medical problems in our canine and feline populations that may be related to um, obesity and actually may parallel what we're seeing in the human population as well, which is quite an epidemic at this time. People in general practice have a huge opportunity to make much more of an impact than somebody like myself has in terms of the health and well-being of these patients and actually make me look better as an orthopedic surgeon. One of the things that we can, we can do is to keep the healthcare team involved throughout the course of that patient's life in order to discuss osteoarthritis, in order to discuss obesity, in order to discuss proper diet and weight management and exercise protocols throughout the course of that life every single time an animal comes to visit the practice. If everybody's excited about it, I think we'll, uh, we'll certainly be a lot more successful in weight management.